Hey everybody, so today I wanted to share with you a period basket that a friend of mine commissioned me to make for their child and she gave me the green light that I could share this on my channel as well in case it might be helpful for any ideas moving forward for those of you who might be coming up on a new chapter of parenthood and honestly this was awesome even for myself so my kids aren't to this age yet but it is definitely something that i need to start considering it was really fun and exciting looking at this from a mom's perspective and everything that is now out there for our kids so i'm just going to go through this i will link as much as i can in the description box below also keep in mind this is absolutely not necessary this is just something that this mom wanted to put together and wanted my help on putting it together for her daughter and told me that I should share it on my channel. So this by no means is something that you have to do. So the first thing is the container itself. I will show you exactly what it is once we get down to having everything out, but it is a little closet container that I found at Walmart. So I had a couple different ideas about what to store this in, but I went with this because this really could be stored anywhere. It's a little bit different than just a regular basket. It does slowly go upwards and it is technically meant to be used on like the top shelf of a closet. I did want to get something so that she could keep all of her stuff in one spot. So the very first thing that I got, which I had gotten this mug a while back, uh, this has been a kind of a long time project between me and the mom, but it is this cup that says you are strong, capable, and beautiful. I tell my girls all the time and I have for years that they are wildly capable. So I really liked this cup. Uh, mom also did say that some of uh, her daughter's favorite colors were green and pink, which is a girl after my own heart. So I try to keep that in mind going forward as well. So I did get this mug because I knew I wanted to include this tea. My friend Isabel introduced me to this tea so many years ago and it is still one of my favorites. It is so good. I'm not somebody who likes honey or lavender and this is amazing. So I got some of this tea and then I stuck these tampons in here. This is the one thing that I would say uh, obviously it's going to be very individualistic. It's going to be up to your kiddo and whatever they're feeling. So this is something that I included just because I have these on hand for myself and I just wanted to put them in there. Obviously mom will decide and talk to their child about what is best for their bodies. So that's what they'll decide. But obviously with it being some kind of period box, I did want to put something that I had in here, which I've used these. This is an unopened box, but I've bought this so many times over. I normally use a cup. I use these on my very last days when I'm over wearing my cup. And then I have some of these mints. So nausea is something that can be very common with uh, cycles and something I even experience a lot myself. Something like these mints can help a lot. So we've got that. And then behind here, I do have some pimple patches. So this is actually a Korean skincare brand that I use and I have loved before right here. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Obviously I will link these, but uh, this brand is amazing. I wanted to be sure to include those because hormonal outbreaks are definitely a thing. Because we live in the United States, pencil and paper is definitely the best way to keep track of your period and your cycles moving forward. So we got some pens here, which I got from Target, and then this blank monthly undated planner. So this is literally just paper and pen, people. That's what we're relying on. So got that for her and it has several months in here so she can track this for a very long time but I did want to get something like that for her and then the next thing were some books this is the thing that I spent the most time on when considering this basket I think all of us can get a visual of the exact book that we were handed when we were this age and I just kind of wanted to expand on that so I did get three books but honestly when the time comes these are the ones that I will be buying for my kids too because these are amazing I kind of felt like maybe I was doing overkill here but honestly I have looked through all three of these books and I could not be more happy with them because they all kind of focus on different things and I think that's an important thing to highlight is that your body going through these changes because of puberty and also periods and cycles and hormone levels there's so many different things when it comes to this time in puberty so it would be really hard to find one book to cover it all i'm not going to open them because obviously they have lots of pictures but this book in particular really focuses on like hormone levels and the fluctuation between your cycles and the different phases that you even have within your cycle that's something that i did not even know until i was 
was an adult trying to have kids. So I really like the fact that this book highlights that we have different phases within our cycles. So we have that book. And then this book is amazing as a puberty book for really anybody. It is a very inclusive one all genders included here, and it covers a lot about puberty. Not just periods, not just cycles, not just reproductive, but also puberty as a whole, whether it be relationships, acne, and obviously including reproductive things. But I think overall, if you're looking for an inclusive book on puberty, this is an excellent one. It is pretty wordy, but I think kiddos that age would enjoy it. And then we have this one. So this one is quite literally talking about vaginas and it's talking about the different uh, anatomy that comes with them and everything that you need to know. There are so many things that I wish I could show you in this book that took me years and years to find out, but it is some of the most basic knowledge that can be really helpful and it can make it not so scary. Everything from hygiene to uh, underwear to just so many different things that I think we can all agree about has taken a lot of time to learn over the years. It wraps it all up in this book. So very different books, but I think all very important. I'm very, very happy with these. I could not recommend them enough. So we've got those three books. And then lastly, we do have this little eye stress pillow. It's actually kind of like a darkening one. It. I don't want to open it up just because obviously not my kiddo. It's one of the eye masks where there are cutouts for your eyes, so it's not pressing into them or, you know, causing any kind of pain. And it's also a darkening one. I know that headaches can be a real thing around uh, cycles as well. I personally get those a lot too. So just something to kind of darken the room, quiet the room, even if she's having trouble sleeping, something like that, I feel like it could be used a lot of different ways. And then lastly, I knew I wanted to get this for her the second her mom came to me just because this is something I have recently found as an adult and I wish I had it a lot sooner. I've always used heating pads, but recently I've changed to hot water bottles and these are exceptional. I love these far more than any heating pad. I went with this one specifically because it also does have a little digital thermometer here at the top. This is just a little cap that screws in that can tell the temperature. It also did come back here. I put it in the box. Uh, it came with a regular cap. So if you don't want to use that for whatever reason, you could just use the regular cap. But it has this nice, silky, smooth, soft little pink case on the outside. But then it does also have a thermometer. That way, when she's doing it herself, if she's doing it herself, she can make sure that it's not too hot. Uh, I just, I cannot say enough good things about a hot water bottle. I feel like they distribute heat better. I feel like they last longer. I feel like they don't overheat your body as much. Uh, just a bunch of different things. So I wanted to be sure to include this. I also think that this is a lot more portable. You know, you can fill this up with hot water and take it in the car with you if you want to. So something that could be used a lot of different ways and not even just for your period, obviously. We all have aches and pains, so you can use that anytime. And that's what I try to keep in mind with a lot of this stuff. Things like the mug and the tea and even the eye mask, the acne patches, things like that. I mean, we all experience things where those would be useful. So it's not like it's necessarily period specific, but I did try to focus on that for the basket. Things that she could use other times throughout the month, but also especially when the time comes around. So then I just wanted to show you this little tag back here. That's kind of what they thought this basket would be. Again, I just wanted her to have a place to put everything organized and she could easily find it the next month. Things she could add herself. That is another thing. I do not have this packed to the brim because obviously mom is going to put things in there like her favorite candy. And obviously we wanted to leave room for herself too, finding things that she likes and things that she wants to include. So it's not packed to the brim. It's not even completely full. It's not even honestly close to full. I think something like this is a great starting point. Obviously, kiddos need more support and guidance and stuff than just being handed a basket of things and, you know, leaving them to it. Uh, I know some kiddos are more verbal than others. Some will want more help than others, but I do think that this is a really great point. Kind of just say, you know, I'm here. I'm thinking of you and just kind of opening that door, I guess, starting that conversation with them and obviously revisiting it. This is a super overwhelming time, one that I'm sure all of us can remember back to and how much you want to have your independence, but you're also scared. It's just an awesome gesture 
for your kiddos to say, I'm here, I'm paying attention, and I'm here to support you. Obviously, you can do all of that without actually having to buy anything. I want to make that perfectly clear. You don't have to put something like this together. And I just want to say thank you so much to my friend who wanted to include me in on this and have me help her out and uh, wanted me to put this video up. This is honestly kind of surreal for me. You know, I started off my channel with what's in my diaper bag videos and pretty soon I will be here myself as well as a mom. And it's just wild. You guys have been around for so many years. I know a lot of us are about to start entering this kind of stage of parenting. I I hope you know what a good job that you're doing and I hope that your kiddos transition into puberty is not super super rough. If you stuck around for the entire video why don't we go ahead and put the tea emoji in the comments below. Thank you so much if you did hang out with me the whole time. If you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching.